Hey guys, what's up? It's Eli Knight with Knight Jiu Jitsu. I'm uh, here to do a tutorial over some um, closed guard sequence. And so we're gonna start from the closed guard. And if I have Chris here inside my closed guard, then there's uh, uh, some different things. Like if he's, if he's sitting here, if I can get his hands separated to the ground, sometimes it's just as simple as, as stripping the grips here. Or if he hasn't acquired his grips yet, then, then pulling him to the ground like this. And if I can get him to post his hand on the ground, then I'm gonna sit up, I'm gonna shoot here for the Kimura grip, and to get this back, I'm gonna push off my feet, drive back here from my shoulder, I'm gonna hip out one, two, as I'm doing this, I'm connecting the grip and solidifying it here, I hip out, I cross the legs back over to establish, then I'm gonna try to take this pinky toward his ear on the finish, keeping this tight to my body, keeping the elbow right here in the middle, and pushing up and over here, it gets very tight in a hurry. So again, if I can catch him with his hands on the floor like this, or if I can get his hands to the floor, I'm gonna uh, isolate the wrist here, I'm gonna sit up and over, shoot through this way. Sometimes I don't even have to connect my grip, I can just use this here and pull and push off my feet if I need the extra leverage here to drive back to the floor. I don't wanna finish flat on my back though, I don't have as good of leverage this way, so I'm gonna post my foot or just use the inside thigh here to shoot out to the side, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, turn back and face him, and then I'm gonna take his hand back toward the back of his head this way, keeping the 90 degree bend in his arm. Now, if sometimes whenever I'm going up to isolate that here like this, and he tried to, to hug and uh, wrap his arm up like this here, and it's too tight, but in doing that, he's gotten rid of his base post, so I can turn this now into a sweep. So I'm just gonna keep turning this direction here, push off of this foot on the other side here, this way, right? Now, once I make the sweep, I might be able to go back and finish the, the Kimura on this side, but I don't have a good angle to finish it from the mount. So instead, I'm gonna get the, the Kimura grip reconfigured. I'm gonna post my head over here and step the leg over like this. Now, to finish from here, I'm gonna roll to my left side here, picking him up, crossing the angles, angles over the back, and then I can finish with even a better position here because I'll have his head isolated and this arm right between my legs. Now, so one more time on this one. If I go here to sit up and attack this Kimura like this, and he wraps too tight on the arm. Now I can continue the motion that I originally started, drive this over here and grab back onto the wrist, post on my head for base, step over the head, and then roll him back up here, crossing the legs, taking this hand back to the back of his head for the finish on the Sometimes whenever I go up to attack this Kimura like this here, I start to sit up and then he kind of drives back into me, trying to push me back down this way. If that happens, I need to be ready and not allow him to, to push my shoulders back down, keeping my hips underneath him. But instead, whenever I feel that pressure, scoot my hips back so I create this 90 degree angle like that. Now from here, this arm that would have wrapped, I don't have a good angle for the Kimura anymore, but I can take this one back here and isolate the neck like this. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping back around the head, bringing this, the upper part of the forearm and the snuff box, underneath his neck, grabbing here on the outside blade of my hand, and I wrap here this way, and I'm not gonna go straight back again. I'm also gonna go more to the opposite angle that I came up on. So I come back here, finish the choke by squeezing and scooping in this way. So again, that whole thing, I start to sit up like this. He drives back into me, I wrap in for the choke, connect the hands, fall over to the side at an angle, and then squeeze here. I'm grabbing in, wrap, squeeze the elbow in, scoop the wrist back toward me. So from this close guard sequence, whenever he's posting up on me or if I catch his hands on the floor, I can start to attack for Kimura. If he resists the Kimura, I can maybe turn it into a sweep, finish the Kimura from the mount with a little adjustment. Or if he drives back into me, maybe I can turn it back into the choke. So it's good to always have things where we can chain them back and forth like this so that I'm never without an option and um, I'm never at a loss whenever I hit a certain point and he shuts me down on the previous technique. So again, guys, I'm Eli Knight with Knight Jiu-Jitsu. Check out the Knight Jiu-Jitsu channel on YouTube too. Thank you guys.